In this question from AP Calculus Review Questions, they say that function f be a differentiable function. Selected values of x are given in the table above. What is the estimate of um, the integral with the limits of 1 and 17 of function f of x dx if the midpoint Raymond sum is used with um, two equal length sub-intervals as indicated by the table. So if we use this table to split it into two equal parts, we would have between 1 and 9 and between 9 and 17. I'm going to draw the graph still to use um, the explanation, to give the explanation, and then also we can use just the graph itself. So here I have the graph, and it doesn't mean that the graph looks exactly the same as um, I drew it, but I'm going to split this graph as they ask me into two equal parts. So here is going to be the first part, and here is the second part, till 17. And when I look at these parts, they say it has to be midpoint Raymond sum. So between these two intervals, between this point, which is 1, 5, and between this point, which is 9, 4, so 1, 5 and 9, 4, there is one midpoint, which is um, 5, 3. So I'm going to take this uh, midpoint and look at the area underneath right here. And then for the second one, the same, I have this one midpoint. Maybe I'll just mark the midpoints um, different color. So here I have another midpoint. And then I can look at this area underneath this graph. So to, to use midpoint Raymond sum, so I'm going to say the sum, the midpoint sum, or um, so here, the midpoint sum is going to be equal to the two areas, uh, the one that I shaded. So the first one is between uh, 1 and 9. So the length over here is 8, and the height is 3. So 8 times 3 gives me 24. And the second part is between 9 and 17. It's also 8, and the height is 2. So um, 8 times 2 will give me 16. So the area, the, the total area, uh, or the midpoint Raymond sum, would be equal to 40 in this case. To do this alone, just using the graph, you would look at the x-axis. You're going from 1 to 9 and um, you're looking at the midpoint height, which is 3. So the difference between 1 and 9 is 8 times 3. And then again, the x-axis gives you 8 on the next one, and the midpoint is 2. So you could use just the graph alone to calculate the midpoint Raymond sum.